Welcome to Arvion, where ancient wisdom meets modern science, where we explore the mysteries of the universe and uncover the hidden truths that shape our reality. Today we dive into one of the most fascinating ideas of all time, how ancient Indian knowledge described the universe with a precision that modern physics is only now beginning to understand. What you're about to hear may change the way you see everything. For thousands of years, people have looked up at the sky, wondering where we came from, what reality truly is, and what lies beyond what we can see. But ancient India didn't just wonder. They described the universe in ways that sound shockingly similar to quantum physics. No telescopes, no machines, no equations, just pure insight and profound understanding in the Vedic texts, there is a concept called Brahman, the ultimate reality, an infinite field of energy from which everything in the universe arises. Modern physicists call this the quantum field, a vast ocean of unseen potential where particles appear, disappear, and reappear again. The ancients said, everything is one energy. Scientists now say, everything is quantum vibrations, Two languages, one truth. The Vedas also taught something even more astonishing. The world you see is not the world that truly exists. They called it Maya, the illusion of physical reality. Today's physicists say the same thing. Matter is not solid. Atoms are mostly empty space. Reality is shaped by how our brain interprets energy. In other words, we are not seeing reality. We are seeing our version of it. Ancient wisdom said this thousands of years ago. Science is now finally catching up. There is another powerful idea. Atman, the inner self, the conscious observer. In quantum physics, the observer plays a mysterious role. Particles behave differently when they are watched. The act of observing changes the outcome. It's as if consciousness isn't just inside the universe. Consciousness participates in creating the universe. The Vedic sages said, the observer and the observed are one. Ancient Indian cosmology also described something extraordinary. Not one universe, but countless universes, endless cycles of creation and dissolution. Today, science calls this the multiverse theory. Multiple realities, parallel universes, infinite possibilities. What the ancients saw through inner exploration, scientists now try to understand through equations and experiments. Perhaps both are looking at the same vast truth from different directions. So here's the real mystery. How did ancient India know all this? How did they describe the nature of reality with such clarity such depth, such scientific accuracy. Maybe they didn't predict the future. Maybe they understood reality in a way we have forgotten, a way we are now slowly rediscovering. Maybe the past holds answers that science is only beginning to understand. The universe is not just matter. It is not just energy. It is consciousness, vibration, possibility. And the knowledge left behind by ancient India reminds us of who we truly are. Not just bodies living in a world, but minds shaping reality. One thought at a time. If this idea moved you, inspired you, or made you think differently about yourself and the universe, then join us on this journey. You're watching Arvion, where ancient wisdom meets the future. Make sure to subscribe to Arvion. And don't forget to click the bell icon so you never miss the next chapter in our exploration of the universe and the hidden truths within it. Thank you for watching. And remember, the truth is far deeper than what we see.